のそう。Hey y'all, I'm Amy, and welcome back to the farm. So, as y'all can see, these little guys are out here with Willow. Okay, so here's what happened the night they were born. The low is really cold, like hard freezing temps. And they were struggling, as y'all know from my previous video, to nurse on mama. So what I did is I took the babies inside, I milked out Willow, put it in bottles, fed to the babies. The babies took to the bottles very quickly and very easily. After taking to the bottles easily, Obviously, the three goats in one fairly small area was a poopy mess. Okay, it got absolutely everywhere and they had to have multiple baths. Well, I started thinking, typically with goats, the mama is the one who keeps them clean. As nasty as that is, yes, that's what happens. And she cares for them more than just nursing them, obviously. She cares for them in every other way. And the only thing that she wasn't able to do was nurse them. So I thought to myself, I was like, well, what if I put them back with mama, let her care for them, and I just continue to milk her and feed them bottles? Because that way she can have her babies, she can care for her babies, and I could still give them bottles and they make sure they are fed. I'm not sure if you can tell, but they're nursing right now. So what happened was I, I put them with mama and then I went in, came back later, gave them their bottles. Everything was great. Um, I did that up until late night. And when I came out, to do the very early next feeding, the following morning, um, they weren't hungry. I had three little babies with full tummies sleeping under the heat lamp. What are you doing? What are you doing? Got itchy itch? Got itchy itch? Hi, babies. Hi, babies. You want to come here? Let's say hi real fast. Say hi. Hmm, <laughs> these sweet babies. They're the sweet babies. I love you so much. I love you so much. Okay, so I came back and they had full bellies. And so I was like, okay, well, I went in, planned to come back out again a little later. Again, prepared their bottles just in case. Came back out and again, full bellies. Not hungry babies. So I, at that point in time, I had time to sit and watch and wait. And yes, these little babies have figured out how to latch on the mama. Now, milking her out the previous night made it a little smaller where they were able to actually get on to mama and they were able to nurse. Now, currently they are nursing off of just one side because as they eat off that one side, it's keeping the teat smaller and I've raised a little higher and they're able to nurse off that side. So what I did a little bit ago was I milked out a good bit of that one side that they were not eating off of. And when you saw the nursing just a minute ago, that was because they can now latch onto that side as well. So they're gonna be able to hopefully latch to both sides and keep eating for right now because at the moment that's great she can have her babies and feed her babies and take care of her babies just the way god intended it <laughs> oh, yeah. well, low, it's okay they're fine don't worry i got them they're fine i got them baby 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 <laughs> So 
so now the question is, do I take them from mama and raise them as bottle babies so that I can sell them as bottle babies? You're too low now. So the question is now, do I take them back from mama and raise them as bottle babies? When I had originally put them out here with mama, I didn't think they'd be able to nurse and I knew I'd be able to continue to bottle feed. I had thought I'd be able to continue to bottle feed and uh, then they could sell them as bottle babies. But um, they're gonna get confused with the bottle versus mama and it's not, that's, they're not gonna be bottle babies if I keep them on mom. So I can't sell them as bottle babies. So now again, what do I do? Um, keeping them till they're weaned on mom for female goats would be no problem to sell that at all. For little boys, the little boys that would be a problem. <laughs> I gotta show y'all. Torn as to what I should do. Obviously, I I don't want to take our babies from her, but the goal is to sell babies. So I don't know. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. I just realized I hadn't told you all yet the name of the third one. So this one, uh, we're calling S'more because it looks like chocolate and marshmallows and graham crackers. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite one, y'all. Look at his adorable blue eyes. This is so precious. This is so precious. I mean, they're all precious, of course, but they're tired. They're gonna take a little nap. I have this second heat lamp off because I know I'm in a flannel, but it's like 70 degrees out here. We get one warm day before it gets cold again. Go ahead, baby. So, the little black and white one there. We had a lot of suggestions for the name Rocky Road. And the kids and I agreed. So, we're calling him Rocky. Rocky Road. Those will be their nicknames. So, we have Boom Boom, Laying Down, Rocky Road, and S'more. And, oh, good. I'm just checking he's able to latch on to that other one that I milked out for him. Not, I didn't milk it out completely, just part way. So those will be their nicknames until they go to new homes. Are you laying on top of your brother? <laughs> what are you doing? You're on top of your brother. You <laughs> come here, little. You come here, little one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am so tempted to keep this one, y'all. To get him weathered and to keep him. I don't need to keep any babies. I don't need. I don't need to keep babies. <gasps> How am I supposed to not keep on these babies? How am I supposed to not keep you? I don't know. They were just as precious as can be. They are all as precious as can be. All right, Willow, I've got some work to do, okay? I'm gonna leave you to it, all right? Okay, we got some stuff to do, but we'll say hi to these kids out here real quick. Tub Tub, come here, Tub Tub. Come say hi. Come say hi. Hey, sweet baby. I'd come over there, but I gotta go do something for a little bit. I don't have no backup. No bottle. No bottle right now. Annabelle. Okay.
Batman. Dub dub. And donkeys. That one's Sky. Sky's fussing about something. Yes. And then there's oh. Joe. Hang on. Let's see if I can catch him. Do y'all remember that I named the all the floofy headed babies Mo, Joe, and Curly? This is Joe. Joe. Ow! That's my ring. Joe. Chill. You're fine. Annabelle's eating my hair. Annabelle. Don't chew my hair. This is Joe. He's fine. He just doesn't want to be held tight. <laughs> oh, Annabelle. You're so special. You're so special. Okay, y'all, it is a Friday afternoon and Brian is off work now. And so we're gonna tackle this. These garden beds. Whoa, you see that? No, you can't see it. Oh man. Those dozens and dozens of those white water birds. The ones that I just showed y'all. Like some of them landed in the field. There was just a whole bunch more. And it sounded like a whoosh of wind coming. It was actually all those birds. Uh, anyway, we're gonna tackle this. I just saw something. Okay, way out there. Let me show you, way out there. The tip of my finger, see that little brown thing right there? That's Clover. She's still looking y'all. She's still looking. She comes up and she eats and she gets water and then she just keeps looking. She's not constantly hollering anymore, but she's very restless and searching. And we never found a hide nor hair of nothing. Not a single thing. No clue. No clue what happened. I had told you once before that I was going to take these garden beds and I was going to plant my fall stuff in them. And then in the spring, we were going to, well, early spring, I was going to take all these beds down because these pallet beds are falling apart and we're going to build new ones and do that. Well, we're not building new ones. We are going to just shore up these where they're falling apart, breaking apart. We're going to kind of just make them last another year. That's what we're going to do. Uh, so I've got a few carrots in this one right here. And then we're going to get them all shored up. And then I'm going to get the soil worked. And then I'm going to plant a couple of things. I'm going to go ahead and plant a bed of onions. And then I'm going to plant the rest of this planter in carrots. And then the rest of them are just going to kind of sit. I'm going to put a layer of compost on top. And they're just going to sit until springtime. I can't believe I caught that on camera. I was wanted to just show you all the birds out there and I was like, Whew. that was cool.
tell everybody what we're doing now? Tearing stuff up. Girl. So we're gonna keep that pig house in the corner over there. And all these short ones that are here near the fence where goats could jump on top. One second, baby. Okay. Okay, just your monkey. Okay, just a minute. So all these things where the goats could jump up and then jump out, they're all coming down. the wrong shoes for this. going to call it a night out here for now this pig house is going to come down tomorrow and then um, we're gonna do oh my word so much mud and then we're gonna do um, a couple other projects tomorrow but we're going to stop for tonight because I still have to do chores and cook supper hopefully tomorrow uh, we can get the rest of the pig houses down and we're going to clean up another area and then all this along the fence line it needs to be cleaned up but I'm wondering if the goats will eat it 
what we're doing is getting this place ready so that we can put goats in there. Like I said, we can't have the pig houses against the sides because goats will jump over it. Once we get all the edges cleared from possible goat escape methods, then I'm gonna be putting the goats in there. And I'm wondering if maybe instead of trying to clean up this whole fence line right now, maybe we'll just wait and let the goats in there and see if the goats will do it. I don't know if they're gonna eat this specific grass that's growing along the edges or not, but I mean, it's worth a try, right? It is that it's a really thick invasive grass that I forget what it's called. I'm gonna have to put it here what it's called, but this whole pen fills with it. And we have different areas around here that get full of it and it's very bitter. And so a lot of livestock won't eat it, but goats might. Goats might eat it. All right, y'all, it's time to feed some animals. Y'all, I just realized it's after six o'clock and it's still daylight. Ha! Huh. Longer days make me happy. Are you okay? Honey. Be careful. I'm just trying to help you. Oh. Woo. There you go. I couldn't get to the other side. Annabelle, are you okay, honey? Thanks for hanging out with me today, y'all. Until next time, keep on the sunny side. <laughs>